Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, <sighs> wet my whistle, it. Um, I'm doing a Starfleet Battles Tactics video on Photon Torpedoes. Photon Torpedoes are a mainstay in Star Trek. And since this game is based on Star Trek, here we go. Photon Torpedoes are used primarily on Federation ships, but other races have used them from time to time, especially Orion Pirate Vessels. I've seen photon torpedoes on Klingon ships, so, you know, I, I want to say it's called the D7P, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, they, they, they do get around, it's just most, most of the time they're on Federation ships. Photon torpedoes can only be armed with warp power, meaning impulse power, battery power, and APR, uh, atomic or auxiliary power reactors, cannot be used to arm them. Reserve warp power being used to recharge empty batteries can be used to arm them. You can, If you've got the torpedo armed and you, you've got a good shot at the guy and you really want to hit him good, you can use reserve warp power to, you know, that's currently being used to recharge batteries. You can use that to arm, to, to arm it to an overload status. So they, they're, they're pretty versatile when that, as far as that goes. Uh, Later on in the game in the game's timeline, uh, APR was replaced with AWR on many Federation ships, and that that's auxiliary warp reactors. It's, it's just a it, it can't be used for movement. It's a warp. It's a a power generator like a like a nuclear reactor or whatever, but it makes warp power instead of atomic power. So, and this was designed. They they put these on Federation ships later on to help with the power curve when they're arming their torpedoes. And it worked out pretty good. Uh, photon torpedoes have a lot of perks. A lot of perks. A standard torpedo does 8 points of damage at all ranges. He's at set range 7. You hit him with a standard torpedo, it's 8 points. He's at range 22. You hit him with a standard torpedo, which, by the way, that's a shitty shot. But hey, if you hit him, it's 8 points. Okay. Uh, arming a standard torpedo takes 2 points of warp power for each of two turns, so two and two. Okay. Photon torpedoes have a variable arming sequence depending on how much power you can afford and how much damage you want to do. If you're going to overload them, you can overload them by up to 100%. The total power can be put in on either the first or the second turn of arming as long as you have at least two points in each turn. So you have to put two and two. But if you want to overload it up to put an extra four points in there, you can put all four on the first turn, so it'd be six and two, or you can divvy it up four and four, or however you want to do it. As long as you get the, the total eight points in there with at least two points in either either turn, you're in, you know, in each turn, you're good. Um, the beauty of this is it's a variable overload feature meaning if you can't afford to put the full eight in there you can put less than that even a fraction of half a point and you can still get a, an overloaded torpedo so if you put four points in it's either a standard or you know two and two it's either a standard or a proximity fused torpedo and i'll get to the proximity fuses here in a minute and the damage of those is eight points or four points okay now the reason uh, the proximity fuse torpedoes have a much greater chance to hit outside of eight hexes, but they only do four points of damage. So it's, it's a, it makes it a little bit more versatile as well. Now, <clears throat> on with the overload torpedoes. If you put four and a half, so two and two is a normal torpedo, you put two and two and a half, or two and five. Yeah, or two and three or two and three and a half, or two and four, or two and four and a half. You know, any any combination thereof will give you an overloaded torpedo. It used to be you had to put two on the first turn, and then you could put anywhere from two to six on the second turn. They've modified that so that it's it's over the two turns, however you want to put the power in. Uh, uh, here we go, okay. In the Doomsday Edition rules, they've made it a bit more flexible, like I just said. The total power can be allocated over two turns as long as at least two points is allocated on each turn. 
I already talked about the proximity fuse, which is really great hitting somebody at range. Okay, four points of damage at range 30 is pretty damn good. I'm just saying. Standard torpedoes cannot be fired at range 0 or 1. However, overloaded torpedoes can. But the firing ship will suffer 25% feedback damage. That's one of the bad parts. So you can overload a torpedo, but you take feedback damage with the antimatter explosion so close to your ship. I've never been happy with the firing chart of photon torpedoes. At range 5 to 8, they have a hit probability of 50%, and it drops dramatically after that. For a weapon that requires warp power, which limits the mobility of the vessel over two turns to arm, it always struck me as kind of quirky. In my opinion, if you aren't using overloaded torpedoes, you're, you're basically wasting the weapon. Um, standard torpedoes damage is okay, especially at range, but it's not enough bang for the buck, in my opinion. Proximity fuse torpedoes have a great chance to hit at long range, but the damage is minimal, four points. It's not bad at range 30, like I said, but, you know, it, it, it's almost a, a waste. You want to close and pound on them. Because you hit somebody with a, with a proximity fuse torpedo, and then they're going to boost everything into speed and get as close as they can and pound you before you can, you know, before you can uh, rearm your photon torpedoes. Now, the good part about that is, when they get there, you'll probably have them. Because it's pro it, I don't see somebody boosting their speed more than 20 in the time it takes for you to rearm your torpedo. You see what I'm saying? So hitting them with overloads, at, or excuse me, with proximities at distance, and then arming overloads afterwards, you know, you, you tag them with your proximity fuses, and then when, by the time that they get there, you've got your overloads ready. So that's actually not bad. Uh, when I run an Orion ship, I sometimes mix photon torpedoes with plasma torpedoes. I found they make a nice match. If you have, like for example, the Orion pirates have... Uh, mounts in their wings that are left side right side if you put a photon torpedo in each of those you can have aft firing photon torpedoes which is quite nice if you're you know on a battle pass because the, usually when you when you pass somebody like this and you hit them with everything forward and then you pass them when you're behind them you can have overloaded torpedoes and hit them in the rear shields with overloads it's quite nice uh, Orion engine doubling gives you plenty of warp power for overloads when you need it. So, Orion ships work well with photon torpedoes. The, uh, the only problem I found with that is it makes you really susceptible to that cocaine rule. And if you don't know what that is, Orion ships, Orion pirates can double their warp engine power. So they have a lot of extra power when they need it, and that's cool. The problem is you damage an, an engine box from each engine that you double. So if you have three engines, three 10-point engines, like the, the heavy cruiser does, uh, if you double it all, it gives you 60 warp for the round. Amen, right? But you also damage one. So the next round, you only have 27. So, gee, I'm still in combat. i got to double that again. So 27 times 2 is 54. That's cool, right? Lots of power for that round. You have to damage another one. That leaves you 24 engine boxes. You see what I'm saying? They call it the cocaine rule because once you start doing it, it's hard to stop and it ends up destroying your engines. Over over time, it actually hurts you. So yeah, uh, that cocaine rule is nice, especially when you have photon torpedoes, but you just got to be real careful how you do it. That's all I'm saying. I hope this finds everybody well, and I hope everybody's having fun playing Starfleet Battles. I played earlier with my son. I hope to say, hey. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.